Yeah, I mean, I, in between, um, I took a break, uh, between the last clip and me doing the comparisons. Um, and I've, I've already been recording for like 40, 50 minutes. So this is going to be a, a long, this is going to be a couple videos to do two planes. But yeah. Okay, I mean, uh, I mean, like an hour to do two planes. I mean, we've been doing this for like twi we, this, uh, this stuff for the. All right, the top tier. And what we go up against? All right, so I'm going to do a new strategy. I'm going to actually stay. I am going to stay at the. Well, I, my, my original strategy in World War Planes is to stay at my spawn altitude. I might go a little higher, but I'm going to stay at my spawn altitude and I'm going to go underneath the opposing blob of aircraft. The opposing um, yeah, blob of aircraft and then go up behind and come back. Basically like this. Here, here's the enemy aircraft. I'm going to go like this. I mean like that. Because I cannot compete in a I can't compete in a uh, head-on, in a head-on fight. We know that for a fact. This thing's not really meant to do extremely high altitude either, so yeah. Maybe 262. Guess I told you I had better mobility than this thing. However, it is a heavy fighter, because it has two engines and bigger guns. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Yeah, I mean, all the, all my aircraft I have before that are hyper move, move that are hyper maneuverable, I've been pretty bad in. Uh, it's the ones which are middle of the road jack of all trade aircraft, which I actually do well in, so yeah. So will I ever be able to do well in the P-80? Sure, if I try hard enough. But I, mean, I will probably never do extremely well in it. I mean, we are, this is my first hit aircraft, so it is different. And it's meant to be, it's, it's meant to be fighting extremely high altitude. They can't really do anything else. Or, well, that's not true. We know that it doesn't meant to do that. And why are we loading? Come on. If the planes don't move, we're not loaded in yet. Or it doesn't matter. Oh! We got kicked out. Guess that again. But yeah, I want to have at least a match where I survive more than five seconds. And get a shoot, and get a, get a test of my guns on something. Or else again. I want to have a game in which I last more than five seconds. And I'll have a game where I can actually test out my guns and see what they actually do when engaging an enemy target. Or engaging a po an opposing target. Because we see these things boost. Not too impressive. We know it's hyper maneuverable. Or we know it's hyper maneuverable. Um, and that's pretty much it. Like, and like I said, I'm not very well versed in extremely high altitude gun combat. Pretty much, yeah. Well, so let's rephrase that. Solely gun combat. And also, I'm not used to not having a uh, uh, radar, pretty much. But, regardless to whether or not I can actually fly the blast this thing in combat well, because it is a dream to fly, and it is easy to fly, it's just, I need to figure out how to fly it in combat, um, which, this is actually a pretty good aircraft to test out flying, flying in, uh, flying later tiered aircraft. Um, and, it can 
very and they could very 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 easily very easily fight other higher tier aircraft if you want to play with friends. I guess those games. Sorry, well things map. Also we're fighting a lot of Shine well in blue. All right. Oh, but it does look. Oh, it does look nice when you don't have the. Oh, it's supposed to be high in the sky. It's morning sun. Shine. Warming up on me. Let's get a little higher. Oh, look at this thing turn, though. Oh, wow! Oh, that's a strong off lane. Oh, my team is. Biz passed them, actually. They play an action. It's a lot of them. Uh, no, you're not. No, you're flat out. You're not. You're just not. You're flat out not. Flat out not. Oh, great. Just maneuver. Just maneuver. I'm better, I'm better maneuvering than there. Oh, look at that. I see where that guy's trying to pull. That thing does not boost. I see you. Oh, hello. Uh, don't get. Don't try to get that guy. Don't try to get that guy. Just stay alive. Just stay alive. They slow down. Flaps. Roll the other way, roll the other way. That's too much. Roll that. Oh, wow, this thing. He's gonna stall first. He is. I just don't think they'll know. Boost out here. Plinky, this gun. It's very plinky. Okay, well, I figured out how to, I figured out how to survive in the aircraft. I figured it out. Basically, just maneuver, maneuver, maneuver. Yeah, thank you. Oh, is this the uh, other player? Okay, so I was looking at the pancake. I, I, I've been seeing one of them before. Alright, so I'll be right back once we're at battle. Alright, so I figured out... Okay, so... Yep, I... I yeah, my plan was correct. Uh, basically, I need to come up behind them and try to dodge... I basically try to dodge them on the way... Basically dodge them. Basically want to come up from low, get below them. When if they try to engage me, let them and just boost past them, or let me use them out. Basically go back. Uh, basically go stay low. If they try to engage me, let them engage me. And if they keep trying to engage me, engage them. But basically try to get up like that and just maneuver, maneuver, maneuver for my teammates to take them out. All right, I'll be right back once we're out of battle. All right, time that was weird. The story fell to start. Um. Uh, basically, uh, uh, I just showed that I got 14,000 credits, even though I did nothing. So this thing still makes a lot of money, even when you do nothing. Well, I need to get a shot in, but yeah. Uh, man, I was talking about how I, uh, I'm just not a, I'm just not a highly maneuverable type of pilot. I'm more of a, I am more of a, I'm more of a high durability, big guns type of pilot. With with uh, 
average maneuverability and speed. Oh, this is Nautilus aircraft, I should say. It's really nice. Over top here, thankfully. Oh, wait. Oh, no way. Is this, is this San Francisco Bay? First time you've seen this map. A bit more. I mean, it doesn't climb too well without boost, is the problem I would have with my strategy. Let's over there. Oh, well, it is? We're Roger in this game. Alright, this probably be the last, um... Oh, where he come from? This probably be the last game, uh, for these, well, these series of videos. For this overly long video. So I better do it right. Basically, you gotta use its ability to roll, like, no, nothing else, because... Oh, hello! Oh, yes. Because it can roll, it can change direction like no other plane pretty much can. Oh, they're high up though, where are they? Uh, I'm trying to look for the markers. Oh, there it is, we'll be using booster shells. Alright, don't got visuals. No, I do. Planning my entrance, because I don't have a lot of boost to use. Separate from the rest? Uh, then we'll roll. It'll do. Engage, engage, engage! The Falk Wolf. Am I? How long? Oh, yes. Surprise, Falk Wolf! Oh, this guy is smart. Uh, I nicked him. Oh, great. I needed that. Actually, he's turning away. Uh, he's coming back. Dive, dive, dive. Go to where my home is. My home is in the ground. Okay, did you give up on me? No, I didn't. Hello? Slow down. Oh, he might hit the. That worked. Who needs wings? Random heavy fighter is having issues. I probably won't be able to catch him. He ran through a tree anyway. Oh, there's the enemy player. Enemy player is spotted. Ability like I like only know how to. I don't think so, buddy. Stall. Hey, okay. have a lot of boost to use. You can get a prompt. Get behind the get behind the terrain. Oh yeah. There you go. When I can when I can get when I can, when I can get something mounted between me and enemy, it always works. Oh great. Ah, I could pull up. I should have pulled up more. Oh, was I was thinking. Okay, that was a good demonstration of the aircraft. Alright, what 
we'll do one more match and see if we can replicate this result. And if not, do better. There we go. Okay, that's okay. We, we finalized the strategy. Now let's try to put it into action. Alright, same strategy on this map, we have a little easier time because there's a whole lot of terrain. That's better. And it's a currency kennel. Or it's the already kennel. If it was. Alright, pull up a law up, or pull up a liar. But I do love this plane. I'll just have to get used to the high maneuverability con combat outside of terrain. At basically any normal altitude. Ugh. Although, I mean, like I said, you, this thing can turn like no one's business. Or, let's rephrase it, it can change direction like no one's business. Like, as you can see, you can go like here, get over here, go like that, stand up again. So, yeah, just use the rolling to your advantage. Basically, just, if a, if an enemy wants you to get into a corkscrew in one direction, just corkscrew the other direction. And, uh, yeah, they won't have much of it. All right. Let's see. There they are. I'm going to keep flying the surgeon. They don't see me. All right, engage, engage, engage. Pull that nose over. Actually, random multi rolls. Let's get these guys. All speed forward. Engage, engage, engage. Uh, oh no. I saw that. Oh, I don't think so. Break. Yeah, he's not playing. He's not playing games. But it doesn't matter. Oh, you have a little tail gunner. That's cute. Okay, this guy. Okay, get out of there. Oh, a hornet. 
Uh, maneuver again. And bridges. Oh. Yeah, no. Okay, flip. Holding flaps and the ability to turn the other way. He can't fight it. Boost. This, is good. this guy still wants to play. Other way. Is this guy still on the here? Yeah, yeah. Like a boost is really hurting me. Going. Oh, he got me. Fair play on his part. I couldn't. Fair play on his part. I couldn't get out of that. All right, but that's the strategy. That's pretty much the strategy. You just maneuver and keep changing where you're turning. Because remember, World War Planes is an arcade flight combat game. It is not War Thunder. It's not a simulator. Uh, it's not War Thunder. It's not Auto 2. It's not all those other games. It is an arcade game. So you don't have to worry about your momentum all too much and losing it when you flip around. Even then, even then still might be able to pull it off. All right, so uh, I'll be right back once it's out of battle to wrap up the, vid to wrap up the video or videos. or It's going to be one big video. It's just going to be parted out. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, back. That's a beep. Uh, which, by the way, I should mention, in order to complete the last challenge, it took me, like, six battles. Uh, although I did win in, like, my third battle with the Corsair, or not the Corsair, the, um, uh, called the XP-31, but it's the, uh, again, not Corsair, but. We're getting the name, uh, because of the thing. The feel, uh, but yeah, I, I won a battle and that didn't work. Won a ba and then it took me a couple tries, and I won a battle in my P51K, which I'm actually really liking the aircraft. Um, I'm liking it a whole lot. By the way, so yeah, we got 30, 13,914. Oh, we got those shots in. Oh, that's not good. Fix my thing. But yeah, but basically, this thing earns money though. It does earn money. Uh, even in the feats, it still earns lots of money, which is interesting. So, yeah, so, yeah, um, but regardless, what do I think of the two aircraft? The HIS-123, or the, or the HS-123, or 123, or the P-80, or the, or Lockheed P-80A Shooting Star, or F-80. I love these things. I love them both. Uh, things. I love. I love them both. Uh, they're they're really nice. I'm glad that I decided to get them. Um, I I wasn't quite sure about you when I first when I I thought you were just gonna be an extra aircraft, but you're not too bad. And the shooting star is awesome. I just gotta learn its play style. Um, I just gotta learn its play style with the fact that it's very fragile, in comparison to what I'm used to. Get the health out. In comparison to what I'm used to, even even the P51K has 290 health. Um, and what? This thing has more health than the. Oh wow. What about the P36? Yeah, but. It has lesser gun shooting at it, so yeah, it's, I I just need I just need to get used to having such low health. Um, and the firepower, it's really high rate of firepower, but it's very low damage, which is not terrible. Um, but yeah, I I like this aircraft a lot. It's definitely a good mid performer. It's definitely a good jack of all trades. Um, uh, when it comes to what you have to do. However, as one interesting quirk in which you can just roll into any direction instantly, pretty much. It rolls like no one's business, and I love that about it. That makes that's what makes this aircraft unique, and pretty much worth getting. Um, but like I said, if you just solely got the shooting star for the thirty-six dollars, if you solely got the short sh uh, shooting star for uh, getting the competition for getting the um, certification, it would definitely be worth it. But since you also get the HS HS one twenty-three. And you get 
a couple days of premium. I can't see, but you can. Uh, how many days of premium do you get, just wondering? One day of premium. Two day of premium. Three day of premium. Six days of premium. Which, let me quickly check to see how much that is. The 60, oh, I, I'll probably have to find a week, but still, I can just write off like $10. Or uh, a couple. But yeah. Three days of premium flat is $3.69. Ten days of premium is $6.69 US. So, yeah, around like $5 uh, premium. As well as a ton of other little things that you get as well. Um, like how much gold do you get, I wonder. Um, you get 200 gold. Five, 500 gold. Oh, you get 500 gold, which is how much? Okay, it's not. You can't buy 500 gold. Uh, you buy 1,250, which is six dollars six fifty nine cents, so like three dollars of gold. Yeah, uh, I think it's plus the credits, which is how much are credits? I don't know. I never really look at that. I I don't. Getting credits for part of a pack is cool. Buying credits is kind of I don't think so. Um. Okay, so two million credits. Okay, so basically, the credits are just nice extras. Oh, they're not really credits, they're, uh, they're consumables to get credits. Uh, which, where are they? I don't think I know. Uh, I don't think, I know. I never mess up consumables, so I don't know where those are activated from. No, that's premium. But you get them, you get them, that's all that matters. Oh, that's the game. Yeah, that's weird way it's placed. Um, but yeah, but regardless, just take my word for it. It's worth it. Uh, it, it's worth seeing that as well. So yeah, so that's actually a really good deal. I like the Chain Lightning, which was less of a good deal. Uh, but it still was a good deal. Um, uh, on the aircraft, which it still come for the same, pr which is ca which it came back for the same price. So yeah. Um. Uh, but anyway, so, yeah, it's totally worth it. I mean, like, the only real problem with buying anything with Warplanes, or even just playing the game nowadays, is the fact that not many people will play it. Obviously, we were playing against mostly bots in this, in these, in this video, th in this video. But you still gotta play, but you still gotta find a real person, and it only took, like, a minute. Which, I played War Thunder the other night, uh, roughly the same time of day, and, uh, I couldn't find anyone in two minutes. At low tier, or at, at low tiers in both arcade and realistic. So, yeah, as you can imagine, it's more World War Planes than War Thunder. And people say War Thunder are doing well. That's funny. When World when World War Planes definitely isn't doing well. That's funny. Uh, but but regardless, uh, regardless, uh, if you still want to spend money on War Planes, uh, this is totally worth it. Uh, I mean, the game has still lasted. The game is. The development for World Warplanes is still going strong. It, they just released a new update, uh, like a month or two ago. So yeah, it's definitely, uh, and it's definitely the development still going strong. It's just not many people are playing it, but people are playing it. As you can see, 336 people are playing right now. Uh, you can still grind because they added bots. Thankfully, you can still grind against bots. Basically, you're just playing. Uh, you're basically just playing against AI now in World Warplanes, which is uh, you're basically just playing against bots in World Warplanes, and then versus. A uh, real player, maybe two, maybe three, against an entire team of bots, which is not terrible. I, I actually like it. It's not bad. Um, by the way, so yeah, it's definitely, definitely worth it. All right, so that'd be it for this video, or videos at this point. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate you watching on this rather longer, uh, this fun looks at, but I really wanted to make it longer for this plane for some odd reason. And I did. Um... By the way, so yeah, I also appreciate it if you can leave a comment with Tim Wood Chase and Tim Wood Shirts. Can you stay tuned for this series? Like, what should you do next? 
or you can kind of apply the P80 or the PS123 in general. Even I know the team's team is coming to fill those tips, and also they have a Twitter, Twitter which they tweet out channel dates as well. Uh, which they do tweet we uh, channel dates as well as news like and and do, and do we doing that? Or news in general, team what's in like World War Planes news, World Tanks news, World Warships news. Definitely World Tanks and World Warships news for sure. World War Planes. I have to get back on the boat, but I can't actually get back on the boat or get back on the uh, get back on the flying machine. Get back on the plane. Uh, by the way, so yeah. Also. Um, uh, also, if you're interested, uh, if you're interested in me playing the game mod or interested in doing collab, collab with me, you have this, this is the much contact me on or can, or can use your friend, YouTube friend message if you prefer. Uh, you can find those in the description below. Or you can find both my email and my Twitter in the description below. Uh, and finally, if you have quick brothers to this stream before this series or in, or in another, please comment below to be considered. Alright, so that'll be it for this video. I did have fun making it. Um, I didn't do too well in this video, unfortunately, but I did show up the plane pretty well, except for the guns. I wish I'd show the guns off more, but... Yeah, um, but yeah, but, but you get idea. If, you, if, if you're a better player, you know how to extrapolate to your skills with this plane, and you know the plane's right for you. Alright, so, um, yep, that's it for this video, and I guess, see you in the sky.